everyone. How are you guys doing? So um, right now I am wrapping um, some Christmas presents for my kiddos at the daycare. Um, I had bought every single student that I have. Um, I have, I think, 11 in my class now. Um, I got these Pete the Cat books for each one. There's only a few pages to each book. Um, very, very short. Um, I got these off of Timu for my class. Um, they're just so cute. We got like Pete the Cat, the bus stop. Um, Pete the Cat, the big win. <laughs> uh, Pete the Cat, get to bed. Um, Pete the Cat, the bad banana. <laughs> um, you know, I have two-year-olds in my class now. And um, so these are I Can Read books. I'm helping out with their phonics. I have a keychain that I'm going to start working on for the new year um, with the alphabet. And I'm going to start teaching the two-year-olds the alphabet, um, the sounds that they make. And then we're going to move on to reading some of these books. And so I thought I would slide these underneath the Christmas tree um, in the classroom that I have for the kiddos and just thought I would let you know I've been wrapping those and um, going to be getting my kid off on the bus here in a minute. So I will return here in a little bit to finish out this video. Hey everyone, how you guys doing? So I just got done wrapping those Pete the Cat books. Um, my son is on the bus and I thought I would just take a moment to say good morning, happy Monday. I uh, have a lot to do today. I have a lot of phone calls coming in to me today and appointments. Um, trying to figure out how I'm going to make it um, living on my own now without any child support. Um, not going to get hardly anything. Um, zero for my nine-year-old now and um, very low amount for my 15-year-old. And... Um, I was broke with the child support. So, um, and as I'm moving forward, I am going to try to figure out how to do this on my own. You guys, I don't need these um, men supporting um, me and, and the children if they don't want to. Um, I think that child support um, based on like the form 14s that you fill out with the court is based on something that the court is saying that the child needs. Um, that money does not go to me. It goes to helping paying bills and helping to, um, you know, give uh, shelter and food and uh, the things that the child needs for them. Um, I have always used my child support for those type of things. And... Um, it has been a great blessing to receive child support and um, all that was taken away last week and I was low income and now I'm going to be poverty level and so um, you guys I just don't know what to say I am trying really hard to think positive about things um, that are just been taken away from me. Uh, like I said in my last video, I feel like Job. <laughs> um, just people trying to control your life, trying to get you to be silent when you are making YouTube videos um, and you're telling the truth. I am trying to move forward with my life um, and I will work three, four jobs if I have to to be able to provide for my kids. I have no problem doing that. Um, man, you guys, it's just so hard for me to understand what's happening. Um, when you got these dads who don't want to love and support you as a mother um, who has their child, <laughs> it is just mind-boggling to me to think that um, even if those men don't want to be married anymore and they want to move on with their life with someone else. 
that they just want to take from you. Um, the person who they've made commitments to and um, they obviously have lied to, but um, these men who think that they don't have to have responsibility in their child's life and um, these men who think that they don't um, have to show their child that they care or have any love for their mother. And I can tell you from a person who has been married and divorced three times, you know, these kids will know. The kids will know if their dad's a deadbeat dad. They will know. Um, they're going to know by the choices their fathers make. Um, and one of the decisions that the fathers make um, that the children are actually watching is the decisions they make towards the mother. If they see their mother struggling, if they see their mother working three or four jobs to try to make ends meet, if the mother is stressed out, if the mother is lonely because there's no one there to love them, if that mother is um, sad all the time because of depression, and it's because of the effects of the divorce. If the children see the mother um, struggling financially or emotionally um, or spiritually even, uh, the children will see what's going on. Um, they can see the division. Uh, a lot of times the children are in the middle of the division because of the transportation or the um, drop off and pickups and the um, conversations they overhear between the two parents. Luckily, in my case, I don't have to um, speak to my ex spouse except for by email. Um, and we use the core app, Our Family Wizard. Um, I'm using it. Uh, he has refused to use it um, on a regular basis or even take the phone calls on it. But um, it's all documented. Everything is documented on our family wizard. And so, you know, it is very um, telling to the children the relationship that you have. And if you are one of those fathers who's saying, oh, I love your mother or I loved your mother, but you're not acting like it, the children will know. Um, there are no secrets, you know. And like I said, if the children were there when you kicked them out of their home and um, in my case was he was sitting there recording <laughs> and the kid look on his face uh, both of my children when they were being kicked out of the house I will never forget it it was like a look at what are you doing dad like how in the world can you be letting us get in the car grab what we can in 10 minutes and you're sitting there recording. I know those were my thoughts. I know they were my 15 year old's thoughts because he was like, what the beep is he doing? <laughs> um, and I know uh, the thoughts of our friends and our family and people who are in our church who are like, what is he doing? He walked away from his family. He has kicked them out of the house. And I have a lot of love and support and um, those people who are stepping it up and helping out um, and doing the things that uh, the husband should be doing. Um, I am feeling so very blessed, you guys. And I know I don't need that drama in my life. I know that my kids don't need it. Um, and this new judgment that I have isn't bad, um, to be honest with you guys. It is... Um, not that different except for it just shows the hatefulness and the evilness um, of the lack of empathy that I had um, towards me and so as I'm moving forward and I'm trying to figure out 
okay, I need some time. I need to buy some time because I'm not going to have money. I'm not going to have um, any support. I'm not going to have any love, obviously. So I am going to have to try to figure out how I'm going to make it month to month, paycheck to paycheck. Um, I have always lived my whole life poor. Even when I was living with my parents, we were poor. Uh, I didn't have much. Uh, I didn't have what everybody else had a lot of times. Uh, I can remember growing up, there was a time when my parents couldn't pay the bills and we had our electricity turned off on us. And I remember the struggles my parents had, um, sometimes with food. And I can remember uh, my parents always trying to help other people in the midst of not being able to give us kids everything that we needed on our own. So I remember the struggles. I remember as a child, the um, stress my parents were under. I remember them in their arguments. I can remember them saying, we can't afford that and telling me no. I can remember um, the struggle. And I'm going to tell you guys, whether you're married, whether you are divorced, like I am, and you're just not getting child support, you are going to have an effect on the decisions you make in your life. You're going to have an effect on your kids. So moving forward, uh, I know my kids are watching me. I know that they are watching me as far as my reaction to being kicked out of the house. Um, we've already had family discussions about um, how that was handled. And my children have actually said they respect me. Um, they see the trauma and the drama that I've been under. Um, they've seen the sadness. They have seen me break down and cry. Um, they have seen me have a panic attack. They have seen me not to be able to breathe. The effects of your decision on your children, every decision you make when you're married, when you're not married, to see your children understand that life is more than just being selfish. You are to love your spouse no matter what. You are to respect the decisions of your spouse no matter what. You are to follow the government and their decisions no matter what, no matter how hard it is. Um, you can seek help, but you're probably not going to get it. Um, things have gotten really tight. The government's broke. They don't even have attorneys to help anymore. So these judges can come in and make rulings just ripping everything from a single mom who's poor and low income to put them back into the poverty level, to put them back into the system. Um, it's all about control. Uh, if your spouse decides that they don't want to be a part of supporting and loving you, whether you're married or not married, um, the government itself, the system, is going to want you to be in a system where they can control you. Um, and they can then they can control your children, ultimately. Um, when there's no co-parenting and there is no working together um, as husband and wife or as um, divorced parents, father and mother of that child, um, the effects that it's going to have on your children is um, life-changing. Those children um, will grow up, need counseling. Those children will grow up and need um, guidance. Um, biblical guidance growing up and I have been very blessed in that area having love and support 
and um, having that biblical guidance um, where other people are helping, supporting, um, and encouraging Christian education for me and my children. And if I can't get my spouse on board with a Christian education, then the blood is on his hands, you know? Um, and if your spouse or ex-spouse does not want to listen to you, um, in your opinions, the blood is on their hands. You know, if they don't care about your feelings when it comes to parenting, the blood is on their hands. Um, ultimately, you guys, we are all going to be judged for our decisions. If you are a man and you are saying you're a Christian and you are um, filing for a divorce, um, you're leaving your family. You've abandoned your family spiritually. You're going to be judged for your family. You're going to be judged for every individual in your family. And I am speaking to you men who watch my channel. I have several men who watch my channel. So, um, if you're a Christian man and you're watching my channel, stand up for your family. Do what's right. Fight for your family. Um, biblically, get into God's word. Read what it says. Um, you have certain responsibilities. Just as I do as a woman, as a Christian, um, I am going to be striving in 2024 to be a spiritual leader of my family as a single mom. I'm going to try to be a Proverbs 31 wife, even though I'm not married. Um, I'm going to start taking care of my home and my children to the best of my abilities. Uh, I'm going to work hard and I know I'm going to struggle because everything's expensive right now. Um, things are going to get really bad. We're in getting ready to have the tribulation time. Um, I want to leave for those behind that I love everything I possibly can that's going to help them during those times. Um, if the rapture were to happen right now, I'm going to be focusing on, um, leaving scriptures around my home and Bible verses and, um, encouragement of having a Christian relationship with Jesus Christ for any of those people that are left behind, whether it is neighbors, whether it's my children, whether it's my ex-spouse, my family members, my friends. I want to um, set that example, you know? That's what I'm commanded to do by God as a Christian, is set the example in life, as long as I'm here, and afterlife. And um, this is not my home. So I don't need to worry about money. I don't need to worry about child support that I don't receive. I don't need to worry about um, those who are being selfish or hateful towards me. Um, I don't need to worry about those who don't like my channel, um, who want to take my voice from me. I need to stand up for what's right and um family values i need to stand up for i need to stand up for christian education for my children because the public school system is going downhill i have um a, a freshman this year and it's bad you guys in the in high school level the um, doctrine that they're teaching in the public school system i do not agree with as a christian um, I believe that the government has stepped in and infringed me on my um, constitutional um, amendments and rights, and um, I'm fighting for that separately. Um, and we need to take a stand as Christians now. We need to let our light shine, like I said in a couple of videos ago, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. 
Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. You know, don't let Satan it out because you do not want Satan to blow out that light. It's getting very dark, you guys. And I don't want this channel to be depressing and negative and, um, you know, hateful to those that are hateful to me. <clears throat> you know, I want to love others. I want to tell you guys I have paid it forward um, for someone who has no money. I did write a check to someone this weekend and I wrote a pretty good check. I pretty much gave everything I had left um, to an individual that needed it. And um, I prayed about it before I wrote the check. Um, And I cried because it was all I had to live for the rest of this week, as a matter of fact. Um, I told my kids I was going to write this check for this person because God was telling me to. And I'm going to tell you guys, setting that example um, meant more to me than the amount of money that I gave. Um, the fear that I'm going to not make it the rest of this week. I <laughs> saw the look on my kid's face. Why would you do that? Why don't you give a, a different amount of money? A lower amount of money. Not so much, Mom, because you need it. You need it for this week. And I said, I need to do what's right. And they said, well, why don't you just kind of divide it and just give a little bit more? Um, then a low amount, maybe just a half of an amount. I was like, no, I need to do what's right, what God's telling me to do. And the moment I gave that check, you guys, I had a release that came upon me, a peace that God's in control. He's got it. He's got my back. Everything's going to be okay, you guys. And I don't have to worry. And so... Um, even if I am sounding like I'm complaining on here about my finances, I don't want to be doing that. That is not my goal here. My goal is to say, you know, God has you. He is your strength. He is our refuge. Um, he is our present help in trouble. Psalms 46, one. I am sitting here looking at scripture and that is the scripture that just popped up. God's amazing. Psalms 46, 1. God is our refuge, our strength, a very present help in trouble. You know, he's got us. I'm looking at my home. I have everything I need. I have food. Um, I don't have money. <laughs> but I have everything I need. And I have my children. Um, and God has blessed me as a single mom. And um, here's Psalms 27, 5. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion, which is his home, in the secret place of his tabernacle. He shall hide me. He shall set me high upon a rock. That's the foundation of God's word. So I encourage you to read in um, the Bible. His promises because God will never leave you and forsake you he'll never abandon you I mean your may, your spouse may have abandoned you like mine has and walked away from your family but God God can be that spouse for you he can be your provider he can give you that money he can give you that financial support you need he can give you that love that you're lacking from your spouse. Um, and he can heal you from your sickness, from your um, cancer, from your bad knees, from your eyesight, from your arthritis. He can heal you from whatever illness you have. And God always keeps his promises. 
So I hope this is encouraging for you. I need to do a couple more things before I go to work this morning. Um, but I am feeling very blessed. And I want to encourage you guys. Share my journey with you as I'm struggling. So you're going to see my ups and my downs. But um, have faith. Have faith. Um, I fear God more than I do anyone else here on this earth. And you guys, I was watching some Christian homemaking videos. Um, 2024 is going to be more of that. Christian homemaking videos and life of a single mom. A Christian single mom. So, please like, share, and subscribe my videos. And I thank you guys so much for watching. Have a blessed day. Bye.